Test six, listening part one. You will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer: A, B, or C. Question one: You hear a shop assistant talking about buying bicycles. With literally hundreds of models on the market, it's tough for people to know where to start looking for a new bike. Customers often ask me, "Which bike is best to buy, and should I go for the most expensive one?" But what I think actually matters is what you want to use the bike for. For example, an expensive bike isn't necessarily the most suitable for doing off-road riding. And similarly, what's the point in paying out hundreds of dollars on a top-of-the-range racing model with 18 gears if you're just going to take a gentle ride around the park once a week? With literally hundreds of models on the market, it's tough for people to know where to start looking for a new bike. Customers often ask me, "Which bike is best to buy, and should I go for the most expensive one?" But what I think actually matters is what you want to use the bike for. For example, an expensive bike isn't necessarily the most suitable for doing off-road riding. And similarly, what's the point in paying out hundreds of dollars on a top-of-the-range racing model with 18 gears if you're just going to take a gentle ride around the park once a week? Question two: You hear two friends talking about skiing holidays. I'm off on holiday next week. Can't wait. I'm going skiing again. Fantastic! I went last month. If skiing trips weren't quite so expensive, I'd go several times a year. I know what you mean, but you go during school holiday time, don't you? The prices always go up then. True, and the holidays always seem to sell out fast. So I've never been able to take advantage of last-minute deals. Mind you, I managed to save myself some money this time by booking accommodation direct rather than through my usual tour operator's website. The hotel even threw in lift passes as part of the deal. That's good to know. I'm off on holiday next week. Can't wait. I'm going skiing again. Fantastic! I went last month. If skiing trips weren't quite so expensive, I'd go several times a year. I know what you mean, but you go during school holiday time, don't you? The prices always go up then. True, and the holidays always seem to sell out fast. So I've never been able to take advantage of last-minute deals. Mind you, I managed to save myself some money this time by booking accommodation direct rather than through my usual tour operator's website. The hotel even threw in lift passes as part of the deal. That's good to know. Question three: You hear a woman leaving a voicemail message for a friend about a job interview. Hi, Katrina. Just to let you know, I had my interview this morning for the hotel manager job. It went okay, I think. Well, I was shaken like a leaf before I went in. I don't know why, because I was well prepared. But once I got into the room, I think I replied to everything they asked clearly and confidently, and they seemed satisfied with what I had to say. They said they'd let me know within the next three days, so I'll just have to wait and see. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. See you soon. Bye. Hi, Katrina. Just to let you know, I had my interview this morning for the hotel manager job. It went okay, I think. Well, I was shaken like a leaf before I went in. I don't know why, because I was well prepared. But once I got into the room, I think I replied to everything they asked clearly and confidently, and they seemed satisfied with what I had to say. They said they'd let me know within the next three days, so I'll just have to wait and see. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. See you soon. Bye.
Question 4. You hear two people on holiday in Morocco talking about a camel ride they've just done. Wow, what an unforgettable experience. I got loads of photos, including some of our camels looking really grumpy. Luckily, I couldn't see their faces for most of the ride. Well, camels aren't exactly known for their friendliness. And anyway, Ismail, the guide, made it clear to my camel that he was in charge. He wouldn't have put up with any nonsense. You know, the sight of the sand dunes and the shapes of desert rocks took my breath away. I hadn't been prepared for that. I was so pleased we paid extra for the guide to take a different route to the other groups. Yes, that was good thinking on your part. Wow, what an unforgettable experience! I got loads of photos, including some of our camels looking really grumpy. Luckily, I couldn't see their faces for most of the ride. Well, camels aren't exactly known for their friendliness. And anyway, Ismail, the guide, made it clear to my camel that he was in charge. He wouldn't have put up with any nonsense. You know, the sight of the sand dunes and the shapes of desert rocks took my breath away. I hadn't been prepared for that. I was so pleased we paid extra for the guide to take a different route to the other groups. Yes, that was good thinking on your part. Question 5. You hear an IT expert talking about passwords. The thinking on passwords keeps changing. We once advised people to choose passwords that mixed up words, for example by adding capital letters, numbers and symbols, and change their password every 90 days. But when people changed their passwords, they made only minimal alterations. So Panda 1 became Panda 2, for example. So passwords like these got easier for cyber criminals to crack. Some people keep a note of their password by inserting it into the middle of what looks like a phone number. That's something we're told not to do. But I find it works for me, though the password's never actually stored on my cell phone. The thinking on passwords keeps changing. We once advised people to choose passwords that mixed up words, for example by adding capital letters, numbers and symbols, and change their password every 90 days. But when people changed their passwords, they made only minimal alterations. So Panda 1 became Panda 2, for example. So passwords like these got easier for cyber criminals to crack. Some people keep a note of their password by inserting it into the middle of what looks like a phone number. That's something we're told not to do, but I find it works for me, though the password's never actually stored on my cell phone. Question 6. You hear a guide on a tourist bus being asked about a tall building. What's that building on the skyline there? It's huge. I bet you can see the whole city from up there. That's the City Hall. Its nickname is the Icicle because of all the glass used in its construction. I love going there at sunrise and sunset because the light reflected off the glass is amazing. You can see the river from the top, but you don't get a panorama of the whole city. The clock tower's better for that. And the icicle gets really busy outside, as it's where a lot of tour groups get dropped off and meet up again. OK, thanks. What's that building on the skyline there? It's huge. I bet you can see the whole city from up there. That's the City Hall. Its nickname is the Icicle because of all the glass used in its construction. I love going there at sunrise and sunset because the light reflected off the glass is amazing. You can see the river from the top, but you don't get a panorama of the whole city. The clock tower's better for that. And the Icicle gets really busy outside, as it's where a lot of tour groups get dropped off and meet up again. OK. Thanks. Question 7. 
You hear a local radio announcer giving a traffic report. And now a traffic update. I'm pleased to report that traffic is moving smoothly in and around the city centre this afternoon, despite the icy conditions earlier in the day. But for drivers on the motorway, please be aware that traffic is at a standstill in both directions between junctions nine and ten. A lorry carrying tins of paint tipped over onto its side several hours ago. The vehicle has now been removed, but fire crews are in the process of clearing up the spilt load. The police are advising finding alternative routes in the meantime. And now a traffic update. I'm pleased to report that traffic is moving smoothly in and around the city centre this afternoon, despite the icy conditions earlier in the day. But for drivers on the motorway. Please be aware that traffic is at a standstill in both directions between junctions nine and ten. A lorry carrying tins of paint tipped over onto its side several hours ago. The vehicle has now been removed, but fire crews are in the process of clearing up the spilt load. The police are advising finding alternative routes in the meantime. Question eight: You hear a diving instructor talking to a woman who is learning to dive. Well done, Fliss. That was a great dive. Thanks. I'm always terrified about jumping in backwards. Well, we can work on technique, but you've clearly listened to my advice about moving underwater. I don't know if you noticed, but you didn't frighten off the fish because you were going at a much gentler pace. One thing I did spot today was you need to check the needle on your tank, even though we're only doing short dives. It's an important habit to get into, as it's crucial to be aware of how much air you have left at all times. I'll try and remember that. Well done, Fliss. That was a great dive. Thanks. I'm always terrified about jumping in backwards. Well, we can work on technique, but you've clearly listened to my advice about moving underwater. I don't know if you noticed, but you didn't frighten off the fish because you were going at a much gentler pace. One thing I did spot today was you need to check the needle on your tank, even though we're only doing short dives. It's an important habit to get into, as it's crucial to be aware of how much air you have left at all times. I'll try and remember that. That is the end of part one.